Well, we knew it was going to be tough because they're ranked number one in the state. And so we all week we've been practicing on our press because they knew we were going to be suffocating defense. And it was just all week we've just been practicing that. And um, we just kind of worked as a team and we really just went through the offense. We knew it was a, we had to get it to like a half court game because their game is basically suffocating defense or you die. And yeah. So. 25 points, 10 rebounds at state against the number one team. Does that, I mean, obviously it hurts, but does that help at all? I mean, you showed you can play with anybody. Yeah, um, they didn't have that good of defense down low, and I was able to get in there and just get some shots up. Hopefully. How does it, I mean, you only lose one senior. Yeah, you get that taste of that going forward. I'm sure it'll help motivate you going forward to try to get here again and make some noise. Yeah, I think next year we're going to move up to 2A, so it will be a little difficult to get here, but we should be able to make it. We knew that they were going to be good. They're number one in the state, but we played a lot of good teams in the POI conference this year, and we were prepared, but it was kind of nervous. We're like, we came in knowing we had nothing to lose. I mean, they were number one, so, and I know we'll be back next year, and we're ready, so. And just, Kelsey had a big game. You were kind of that inside-outside. They gave them a lot of trouble. Uh, it's like, I mean, knowing right there with number one, you guys played right with them, and you and Kelsey kind of had that one-two game going quite well. Um, yeah, Kelsey, she's always there, and I always know that if I drive, then I can always dish it off to her, and if she's not open, then I always know Macy or Tess or Blair or anyone on the outside is always open, and we can reset up our offense, so I kind of just looked for that, I guess. That end of game, I mean, I think you were within two, and then they got it back up to seven, and then I think you got it back to one. I, just take me through the end of that game and just, I mean, what, what you guys were trying to do there at the end? Oh, it's hard to remember. It was it was just nerve-wracking. We just knew that. Um, well, my dad actually told me before the game, he said, if you guys just keep grinding away and grinding away and grinding away, that'll shake them up. And so I knew, I was like, we're within one. So I knew mm -hmm. that if we kept getting close and close, eventually they would break, but they never did. But they were, they were really good, so. We got the ball our second or third pass, and we still didn't look to attack. We had two or three defenders behind us, and we just didn't take advantage of that layup opportunity or three-on-two break type of deals. But, you know, I, they're number one, and we gave them a run. Our girls did a hell of a job. All right, you know, it's better to be the underdog than, you know, it's, you know, it's you know, no pressure on you. But our girls did a great job of handling the pressure and, uh, you know, making it close to the end, putting themselves in the situation. And you talk about Grandview Christian. Our, our schedule has helped us out a ton and made us better. And, uh, we're thankful for that and thankful to be here. It's a great opportunity. Kelsey's pretty good. She's got great hands. I've always thought she'd make a great tight end. I mean, she's just a big girl and she's got great hands. And uh, she's she's the backbone of our our offense and our defense. She blocks some shots and she'll get some layups for us. Yeah, we're you know we're trying to go with our bread and butter and then hopefully you know get a five count or get a steal. And if we had a, if we fouled, we're you know that's what we wanted anyway. And they made their free throws and that's basketball. That's the way it goes. Yeah, we lose one senior in Kirsten, but the, our starting five is back and we got some good young kids coming up through the ranks so you know success breeds success and hopefully they get a taste and they want to be back.